and hello YouTube, this is JS Man Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for tutorials JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Audacity and how to change the theme or the skin on your UI here. As you see, I have a brand new uh, skin here, or a theme as they call it. Um, and there are several of these. I found the website that offered three different themes. I'm sure if you Google some, you can find other ones as well. But I'm going to be showing you how to change your theme today. And the site that I'm using is this site right here. As you see, they have this theme available, this theme available, and this theme available. Now, um, just in case this website ends up going down, I am going to have these three themes in a Dropbox file that you can download. In fact, I'll probably zip these, all three of these into one folder, and you can then uh, pick which one you like. So if you wanna download these themes here, look in the description and click the Dropbox link and download the zip folder. From there on, we're gonna go ahead and show you what to do next. Now I did find a really cool theme here. I would love to have something like this. This would be a really awesome and really cool theme to have. On Audacity. This is only a mock-up though. Uh, if you happen to find any other cool themes, definitely leave links in the uh, comments section down below and I'll constantly update the Dropbox file with all the themes that we've collected. So if you find any cool skins or themes, leave them down below, leave a link and I'll download your theme and add it to the Dropbox file. So whenever somebody sees this video, they'll be able to have access to all the themes that we've compiled so far. I've only found these three though, so uh, if you guys wanna do a collective effort to find more, that'd be great. Anyhow, the way you wanna do this, and by the way, this is not, this is just a mock-up, you can't download this. This is someone who designed, uh, dropped it in Photoshop and changed the colors around. So unfortunately, we don't have this available to us. But anyhow, what you wanna do is go into your, uh, this PC actually right here, go into this PC in your Explorer window and go to users, then users, go to your username, then go to app data, then go to roaming, and then go to Audacity. If for some reason you don't see uh, app data, this is a hidden folder, what you can do is hit the window key and the R key at the same time, and then type in percent app data, and then percent, and that will open up the app data folder just like that. And anyhow, when you're in roaming here, you wanna find Audacity, and Audacity's right here. Now you'll have a CL, You'll have a CFG file that says Audacity CFG, which is this right here. Right click it, click open with, and you wanna open this with notepad. So like so, and that should open the file in notepad. Now at the bottom here, you wanna make sure you add on theme load at start equals one. Right above recent files and right underneath the batch, go ahead and copy and paste this in or type it in. Uh, I'll probably I'll probably leave a copy and paste version in the description as well. So just go to the description, copy this, and paste it underneath the batch active chain equals podcasts and above recent files. Go ahead and paste this in there. Then you can save it and you can close it. Make sure you save it and don't close it before without saving or else it won't work. After that, we're gonna go ahead and make a themes folder. So go to new and go to folder and type in themes. and make sure you spell it correctly, not like I, I misspelled it, like so. And in this folder, here's where you're gonna wanna drop in your image file. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead, I have this one currently active right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one right here. So I'm gonna click image cache. Well, for you, all you need to do is drag the image cache into the folder, because I'm gonna have a Dropbox file for you. But I'm gonna go to save image. And right here in my themes folder, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Now make sure when you are saving this, make sure you only name it image cache. Don't name it anything else, image cache.png. Everything in front of that, you can go ahead and erase. Uh, in my Dropbox file, I will have them named default to what the, the person who designed these named them. So you're gonna to have to make sure you erase the uh, everything that comes before image cache. Now, the person who designed this, by the way, just wanted to give credit, owns this website right here, Reflect, Repent, uh, Reboot. So this is the guy. I'm not sure this website's ever gonna be up. At, like in the future, sometimes these websites go down and I have people commenting, oh, the website doesn't work anymore. So that's why I'm making a Dropbox file, but credit goes to the person who owns this site right here. Anyhow, after that, uh, we have our image cache in our themes folder. As you see, it's right in here. 
Audacity themes. It's right here. So now what you have to do is restart Audacity. So we're going to go ahead and click X here. And uh, just a quick note, uh, you don't want to make sure that theme is singular and not plural. Make sure your folder says theme and not themes, because if you type in themes, it will not work. Uh, you have to have it singular, just theme. So then when you open up Audacity, it will load the new skin on top of your old uh, UI. And we have all these cool new buttons and icons. So that's kind of how you do it. That's how you add a theme or a skin to Audacity. Be aware that I am running Audacity 2.1.2. And if you have older versions, you can actually do this by going to edit preferences and there should be a theme section in here but in newer version they took that out so uh, just in case you have any questions for what audacity i'm running this is for 2.1.2 if future versions happen to be different and they add a themes panel then you probably may not even have to do this but um that's just how we're doing it right now in 2.1.2 so hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial hopefully you learned something and hopefully you enjoy your new themes like i said if you, have, if you find any new themes or skins leave it in the comment section so we can have a huge list of themes compiled for all of us to choose from. It'd be cool. If you want to make your own themes, I'm pretty sure there's a way to make your own themes. All you'd really have to do, I think, is just, um, you know, change, you know, drop this into Photoshop, maybe, or GIMP and change the colors around. So it shouldn't be too difficult to make your own themes. Uh, but we'll see what happens. If you guys want to compile a list, leave a comment below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Plenty of other Audacity tutorials and guides on other software as well. If you like this video or like any of my other videos, you can always donate a dollar to my Patreon page as well. Anything as low as dollars is always helpful and very much appreciated. All you gotta do is click the card in the top right corner of the screen. And that's pretty much for this video. Thank you for watching. As always, I also have a gaming channel, vlogging channel, advice channel, and music channel. You wanna check those out. Links in the description as well as on the end card. But with that, this is GSMR Smart, and I'll be back soon. What do you think? Don't go anywhere.